Okay, folks, in this video, I'm going to show you how to chamfer or fillet a curve and then how to later on edit it or even completely remove it. So let's get started. So let's start off with getting rid of the cube and then do Shift A and let us select a point curve. Immediately go into edit mode automatically, and then we go into top view. I'm going to press V, select vector, and they're going to extrude out. Like this. Okay. So to get this working, we need to go to preferences, add ons, and we need to have our curve tools. Enabled, and also by the way, to create that point in the first place, you need to have extra ob objects created. Okay, going to select this point, going to press N, and then edit here, and then we have this button here at the top, fillet chamfer. We press that, and it immediately creates a curve. It's quite small, so we go over here, and we can make it bigger like this. And chamfer is just the same thing, but without the curve. So the points are in the same place, but there's no curve. It's just a straight line. Okay. So this is all very well, but the problem comes when you want to edit it later. So say we have done that, and then we go and we change our curve somehow. And then later on, we decide, ah, this is not quite the right curve. It could be a little bit more curved or a little bit less. There's no real easy way to um, edit this. So I'm going to show you a little workaround for that. So basically, we want to work out what was the point, where was the original um, corner located? And we can do that with the ruler. By just placing it on here. And placing it on this line here. And where they intersect, we know roughly that's where it was. And we're going to place our empty, not our empty, our 3D cursor there. Problem is, as soon as I click the 3D cursor, the ruler disappear. So we have to go up to view, annotations, and then turn, the, turn it back on here. Okay, we're going to grab our 3D cursor and place it right there. Okay, now we're going to select our points. Okay, now very importantly, you have to go up here and you have to select 3D cursor. Now if I press S and scale, you can see it's now scaling that whole curve back again towards the original point. Okay. Now imagine that we actually want to just completely get rid of the, um, the curve. All we need to do is we need just to scale it. It doesn't matter actually how much we scale it. We press enter. And we go down here, we select these three, we put in zero. And now both points are in the same place, at the location of the 3D cursor. The problem is we've got this little bit of weirdness here. So we need to go over to edit and then sanitize here. And then remove doubles. And that will merge those two points together. So now if I click this and move it, you can see it's just one point there. And that's pretty much it. Maybe also worth mentioning is, um, I'll quickly show it. If we do chamfer and we do the same thing. So let's just put the 3D cursor roughly. I guess it's probably about here. It should be. And then we do again scale. That's not right. Wait. These. If I put in zero here, you think, well, we're done because we've now got a corner back. But the problem is we've still got two points here. So you still need to do the same thing of move doubles. And now, 
You've got your merge point again. That's it. Hope this helps.